Good afternoon, everybody. We're going to get started for this afternoon. I will be your MC this afternoon. I've got big shoes to fill. John McCarthy did a great job. Appreciate you, John. Thank you very much for John this morning. It's not easy doing this job. It's definitely not easy. So good afternoon again. I'm John Osborne. I'm going to be your MC and a little, tell you a little bit about me and my background. Um, I'm actually with Manatee County Government, and I'm the infrastructure and strategic planning official for the county. I don't know why they give these long titles like this, but I'm kind of like a, a planning, an urban planner is what I do for the county. And uh, I've actually kind of grown up at doing urban planning around the Southwest Florida area. I've actually started out my career doing a lot of environmental science type work. I worked in uh, air quality, doing stack testing and industrial hygiene testing early on in my career. I've done a lot of water quality testing and things like that. Then somewhere along the lines, I got sucked into urban planning and here I am, right? I'm actually finishing up a master's degree in environmental science right now, and it's been the longest three years of my life. <laughs> but uh, I'm very thankful to be doing that, and the county's been very supportive of that in, in, in that career. Um, but we're going to talk today about some really exciting things. So I hope you had a great lunch, and we had a chance to with some good conversations with fellow attendees. One thing I want to point out to you real quick before we get started on the speakers is actually if you look here to my to my right, your left, there's this beautiful dress right here, and there's another dress over here. And these were made from in Manatee County, some from some of our teenagers. We have a recycling fashion show every year at Manatee County Libraries. The next one coming up is April 6th from 1 to 3 p.m. So if you're interested in that, please come out and support our teens. There's a poster here on my right, your left, that describes the event and some of the things that you gotta do to enter. And it's really exciting to see our teenagers embrace environmentalism this way. But again, for this afternoon, I want to thank our sponsors for their generous support of the workshop today. We have our platinum level sponsor of the Gulf Coast Community Foundation and our gold level sponsors, Manatee County, woohoo, that's me, and Transition Sarasota. So thank you very much to our sponsors for this afternoon. Now, we have a little bit changed in our speaker lineup today. Unfortunately, Major Mayor Liz Alpert was not feeling well today, so we've got a, a great substitute for you. We actually have the Vice Mayor of the City of Sarasota, Jennifer Ahern Koch, to, to kick us off for the afternoon. And come on up, Mayor. The Vice Mayor is well known for the City, on the, the city Commission and throughout the community for her support and advocacy for community sustainability programs. In addition to her city policy work, she is also active in state policy issues as a member of the Florida League of Cities Natural Resource and Utility Legislative Committee. She has over 20 years of experience working locally in the arts, marketing, and public relations sectors. She holds a bachelor's degree from American University and a master's degree from Columbia University in international affairs. And with her international and local experience, we're very privileged to have her and hear her today. So join me in welcoming Vice Mayor of the City of Sarasota, Jennifer A. Hearn Koch. Thank you. Um, I first want to thank you all, and you all should thank yourselves for taking time out of your busy lives and your days for attending an event like this. The city is proud to be one of the organizing partners in this event, along with so many others. But I think each and every one of you needs to look at yourself and say thank you for allowing yourself the time to be able to participate in something like this, where you can learn what you can do to help immediately and to implement whatever goals that you want to have and whatever goals or whatever you've learned, you you can start doing that immediately. Um, I just also wanted to brag a little bit about the city of Sarasota. Um, as was mentioned, uh, we are, I do attend a lot of the Florida League of City events. And there are 412 cities that attend these events. And very often when um, they do sort of that, that poll that, that often speakers do and they say, how many raise your hand? Um, they'll say, how many cities have a sustainability department? And they'll be, you know, maybe half the room will raise their hand. And then they'll say, how many of you have done a climate adaptation or vulnerability assessment and adaptation plan? Very often, as a representative of the city of Sarasota, I'm alone in raising my hand. Maybe there are one or two other people there. And I am so very proud of that. And those of you who live in the city or work in the city or travel to the city or vacation in the city or bring your guests to the city, you should be proud of that as well. And all of that is due, or most of it anyway, is due to Stevie Freeman Montes, who is our sustainability director. And I would like to give her a round of applause. 
and she works very co closely with Jeffrey over here who spoke earlier upstairs and the two of them are across the board making efforts and we're constantly bending their ears. I'm sorry I'm completely off script here but um, um, I'm constantly sending her emails and Jeffrey as well saying, you know, somebody will approach me about plastics and recycle. Somebody will approach me about single stream recycling. Somebody will approach me about living seawalls and all kinds of efforts that you're all learning about that we're doing as a city, as a county, and as a community. And people will come to me, which is what you're supposed to be doing, and I will direct them easily to Stevie. So I get to have her answer and do all of the work and then as a city we get to try to implement the great programs um, that she comes up with. And some of those great programs that we have done uh, as the city of Sarasota we've applied for a variety of grants and received them. Um, recently, I've got to stand up here I think a little bit. Um, recently, we, re we received a grant to refurbish uh, a living shoreline and to remove a seawall in front of the bayfront near the Van Wazel. Um, we received a grant partnership with Sarasota County, Baranek Foundation, and Gulf Coast Community Foundation to implement an energy savings program for local nonprofits. Um, we have uh, supported a community compost in our neighborhoods in the city of Sarasota, and that's a program that we hope to expand. We're working with businesses, restaurants. Um, I think Chef Steve from Indigenous couldn't be here today, but he was gonna speak about that program, and Stevie was um, key in implementing that and coordinating it, and so I think that's an area where we have a lot of room for growth with our businesses, especially our restaurants and composting. Um, we, as I mentioned before, we, we um, created the first ever climate um, vulnerability assessment plan, and part of that plan is also adaptation. So on the one side you have the bad news, and then the good news is the adaptation part. And there are real key steps and things that we can do as a community and as citizens to try to adapt to climate uh, change. Um, the city has also provided over 590 trees to city residents. Um, this was a free program and it's, uh, they're pro provided throughout our community for our canopy program. And last but not least, um, one of the things we've done is we've committed to the Sierra Club's Ready for 100 which is committing our community uh, to renewable energy. So at the city level, we've committed to 50% by 2024, which is not really that far away, and 100% for the city uh, by 2030, and community-wide by 2045. So that means the city does our part, individuals do their part, and as a group, we all do our part, and hopefully by 2045, we will reach 100%. So that is an effort that is across the board, um, something that we are implementing in every which way we can, and again, that's Stevie and her department.